Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Welcome to my classic car. Well, this week we're in upstate New York for the Adirondack Nationals, held right here on the grounds of the Fort William Henry Hotel and Conference Center. This is a really cool event, and it's been going on for 20-some-odd years. It draws about 1,500 cars, and what a perfect day. What do you say we get around to check out some of these wild upstate rides? Hey Steve, how you doing, hey, man? Hey Dennis, great. Thanks for coming to our little show. Yeah, your little show. What, fifteen hundred? Yeah, fifteen sixty. Holy cow! Is that is that like a? I mean, is that like a capitated number? Yeah, I think that's about a new record for us. Well, that's all you can shoehorn in here, and this is a big venue. That's it. It's all. There's a lot of people and a lot of cars and a, and a beautiful spot. Well, and this is one of these shows that basically registration sells out within a week or two of when you open it up, right? Yep, it was about two weeks, I think. Uh, man, done. Done. <laughs> well, I love. I just, you know, I love this area. I mean, it, the upstate New York is. This is kind of, this kind of quintessential vacation land it for is. the Northeast, right? Well, it's real fifty style, some of it, and it's a great backdrop for some of these cars, especially when they're out cruising. Which they do. Oh yes. They do last night and then again tonight, eh? Right. Yep. They cruise all the uh, the streets around here are closed off to all traffic except for these cars. Wow. Unbelievable show. And you guys have been doing this for how long? Um, we've been doing it for 22 years, 21 right here. Right here. So Fort William Henry has been very, very good to you. They, they've been great to us. They, they work with us. Great people to work with. Super professional organization. Yeah. Well, super cool place. We're both going to be really busy. We're going to be you know, doing a show and all that. But let's look at a few of these cars before we get too serious. Absolutely. Let's go, man. Well, Rich, this is a crazy car. I mean, tea buckets are wild machines anyway, and I have come to the conclusion that all tea bucket owners are certifiably crazy. insane. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm definitely nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <been> driving this. <laughs> yeah. You, you have to be. Yeah. This, this looks like the real deal. I mean, this looks like an all steel car. This looks like it was built kind of back in the day. Is that it, true? It was built in 1978 by Willie Donato. He built everything is custom built on the car. Wow. They stretched the chassis. Yeah. And they they lowered it and chopped the car. I mean, it's, it's got you know just great lines all around, but of course, what what grabbed me is this pretty insane motor. Is that 454? It's a 454 60 over, which makes it a 468. It's got the old uh, L88 heads on it that we use. And is this the, the this is obviously not the original motor? The, the original heads, but when we did the motor over, we took the original blower and carburetor off because we just updated everything. We used the original manifold. This is a real deal manifold. This, this is three fours. Yes, I've never seen three fours before. We had made this manifold back in 1967. And from what I understand, there's only a few of them made. Wow. Mechanical linkage, when you're driving, you drive on a two, yeah. and then when you hit about three grand, the third one comes in. Whoa. And it just swaps it, yeah. <laughs> you have to hold on. You have, yeah. you have to hold on. I like the interior, too. I mean, it's a, it's a, a high-impact orange there, but your seat setup is really interesting. That's one of the problems I have with T-Buckets. I can never find a comfortable position, but right. that looks pretty cool. Well, the gentleman built the car. They chopped the seat. They lowered the body on. They, they put the seat right on the floor, and then they chopped the windshield, uh -huh. and they made the top for it. The top is folded down. I love the, the rear view mirror setup there. The mirror is the setup for one one is made when you're when you're sitting in the car with the top on it. Yeah. The second one is when you take the top off the car, That's, then you have the mirror for the okay. top of the car. Is that like a motorcycle mirror or something like that? Or yeah, actually it is a motorcycle, motorcycle mirror. Motorcycle. Yeah, and that's how they did it. They welded the nut to it and they uh, bent it in shape. It's brilliant. And she you know she, she fits really well. Oh, you got a traffic minder there. Yes. Because you can't see anything. You can't see nothing. <laughs> you see the stoplights that That's way. That's about it. You see the carburetors in the front. You peek out the window once in a while. Well, and this this fits down beautifully, too. Yeah, it fits too. great. It fits right on. But that rear end is what kind of caught my eye. What is that? That's a 1967 Corvette rear. The gentlemen, when they put it in, they took the, the arms off it and they 45 them in. So yeah. that's the original arms that they just mited it in. And then they built all the cross members and everything to fit fit into the car. You could take the rear right out, and it'll go right into an old Corvette. It's just fantastic, man. It's got I big mean, enough tires to hold it, it on the ground. It does have big enough tires, doesn't yep. it? <laughs> and where are you from? I'm from Wayne, New Jersey. Yeah, I never would have guessed yeah, that. Never, right? Never. <laughs> so, Rich, it's it's fantastic, man. Thanks for bringing it Thank out. Thank you for me. Yeah, I appreciate it. That's a bad ride, man. Coming back later? I want to take you for a ride. I, I think I'll do that. Yeah. Welcome back to My Classic Car. 
Well, Stan, this is one sweet 54 vet. Man, this, this baby in this sunlight, woo! <laughs> what is that color? That color is called Creamsicle. It's a custom it? mix I came up with. It's House of Color paint. Painted it myself, and it's the first car I ever painted. No kidding? You, did, you shot this yourself? Shot this in my backyard garage. Wow. Of course, we can't tell everybody because, you know, the neighbors <laughs> don't appreciate well, I, that. I, 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 I know nothing. I know nothing. And you did everything on this, Everything right? on this car Man. except stitching the white upholstery. <laughs> well, she's really good. You know, you've, you've, uh, you've cleaned it up. You debadged it. There's no handles. There's no nothing. It's really smooth and slick. But it gives it, you know, it gives it a nice clean look. Thank you. Part of the reason that I debadged it was that the original chrome hid some of the old body seams, uh -huh. which were in pretty tough shape. Sure. But the original chrome was extremely expensive, plus very difficult so to get. Get it out of there. So I said, you know, I didn't have it to start with. Why not do a custom? Because I'm kind of a custom car guy. And I love the the white interior. Really brings this car out well, big I, time. That, I wanted to call my color creamsicle, and I figured if I painted the inside, or I should say, got the inside white upholstery in there, I'd have you, you'd have my it. creamsicle. <laughs> well, you, you know, you you uh, cleaned up the interior too. Pretty much a stock layout, but but it's there's no switches, there's no. Yeah, I decided that I didn't like all the barbs that were hanging off the dashboard, but I did like the the actual stock look of the dashboard. Like you said before, you want to keep it looking. Corvette, and you did, because back here it's solid 53, 54. I mean, that's exactly just classic. Uh, the only look. difference is I changed taillight rings and taillights themselves, and I, these are actually something very simple. They're a 56 Chevy Bullet, and I made my own taillight rings. I removed the exhaust ports mm -hmm. and all the bumpers and such on the back of the car, also. It's just so incredibly clean. Now, this would have come with the uh, Blue Flame 6, Blue which Flame I'm sure six. with everything else you've done, that in there ain't yeah, here. Yeah, these days we have to travel a little bit up with the traffic, so, so the Blue Flame 6 went gone. sideways. Well, let's have a look and see what's in okay. there. Okay. Open up, Stan. Under the hood, I decided since I didn't have an engine, I need a little bit more horsepower. Yeah, so what am I looking at, 350? 355, actually. The bottom end was built by Reed Automotive to match a pair of aluminum heads that I had in my possession. Wow. And uh, bumped it up to about 11 to 1 compression, Ooh. roller cam, roller rockers, and it's pretty peppy. <laughs> Estimation of about 400 horsepower. It is the complete package, I think. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, I, I'm pretty proud of it, and I, it does catch a little bit of attention, but I think that has something to do with the color. You know, it might. It just might. Well, <laughs> I tell you, Stan, you did some great work. That is one sweet, customized 54. Thank you very much. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Doug, this is a uh, one low, low down galaxy. You know it. <laughs> you know it. But I, I saw this uh, in the light, man, it's just, it's just, it's screaming at me. I love it. <laughs> the blue is, is great. It's a great tone of blue, but then you got this wild multicolor flake. What, what's the color? It's um, House of Color Oriental Blue yeah. candy with um, rainbow flake oh, in it. Oh, is that what it is? I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what that was. That's, that's right. why I'm getting all those colors, huh? Yep, exactly. Man, it's, it's in the clear coat. So she's down, is it on air? It's on air. You know, the blue and the white is just such a, such a blinding combo, but I like your piping and everything. You know? Right. And you, you know, you got the, the rolled dash right. padded, but otherwise you kept uh, 63 instrumentation, right? Pretty much, yeah. I just painted up some of it and, you know, kept it all original that way. Well, you know, your trim's good too, and there's a it's lot of trim bad. on this, and it's all very light metal. It, it doesn't look it's dinged up very bad. A couple places, but. But not bad. Where'd you find this? Um, I found it out of Worcester, Mass. Um, and she wasn't all rusted to death? Not bad. It was actually, somebody drove over, brought it over from out west. You know, I haven't seen one of these slammed. Everybody right. does the Chevs. Yeah, you know? exactly. That's what I wanted to do, too. It looks, and the Ford looks so good on it. Now, this would have come probably with a 390 or... It, uh, 289, actually. Trim would, stock, but they did have 390s, really? for sure. But, but it, this one came with a 289? Yeah, 289. Let's go look at and, it, uh, man. Sure. Open it up there, man. All right. Well, that, that, that is a 289. It yeah. looks so little in there. Yeah, it does. It does. But <laughs> at least you have a lot of room to work on it, right? That's for sure. Uh, Lu Cucaracha? <laughs> Lu Cucaracha, yeah. <laughs> got my wolf whistle. And, oh, you, you, got, know. you got it all, though. Yeah, going. I try it. <laughs> got more horns than engines. <laughs> but all right. So have you been to the Adirondack Nationals before? Yeah. Yep. Did you dig this show? I love this show. It's a lot of fun, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. I mean, it's, what a great setting. Yep. It's awesome. So where are you from? I'm from Queensbury, New York. Only two exits down the road, so it's... <laughs> Definitely good for me. Life, life yeah, is good. But, exactly. Well, I dig this, man. You brought it a low and slow <laughs> yeah. 63 Galaxy. For sure. Sparkly blue. Yeah, Thanks, definitely. man. Thank you. Well, Mark, this is really wild. I can't remember the last time I saw one of these. A 77 Pontiac Can-Am, right? Yeah. That's correct. Man, this is one rare car. How many of these did they make? 1,377. 
Well, that's pretty. That's pretty precise. One thousand yes. three hundred and seventy-seven. <laughs> yes. Yep. Was, I mean, I can't imagine that was their original intent. No, their original intent was to do about five thousand of them. Well, what happened? Uh, they had a problem with their rear spoiler. Uh, kept the mold kept breaking on it. Okay. And they stopped production on that. And because of the dash, uh, it's a Grand Prix dash. Yeah. That year, the Grand Prix were pretty popular. So GM, instead of spending the money giving the dash to this car, they much rather keep it for the Grand Save Prix. Save it for the Grand Prix. Right? Save it for the Grand Prix. Well, you know, this is a weird body style. It was kind of one whether you either loved it or hated it. That's you know? correct. Yep. But it's really, it's clearly Pontiac when you see this hood. Absolutely. Yeah. That's Pontiac. That's Pontiac. <laughs> That's Pontiac. <laughs> and you know, to make it the Can Am, was it the striping package? It was the striping package, the, the dash, motor, the dash, and the, and the spoiler. spoiler. Man, it, it's wild looking, and I like. I like the red interior. Did they all come with red, or actually, uh, they came with four colors. They came with red, uh -huh. black, uh, a beige, and white. Wow. You know, it, and you're right. The Grand Prix dash just looks fantastic. It sets it right off. Oh man, it, really it does. does. And and this was the this was the this was problem, the right? this was the problem child. Okay, why why? It looks pretty uh, simple. Well, it's it looks simple, but uh, with the fiberglass and the way they mold them, they had problems with them. So they said, Dah. yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> well, so six point six. Uh, it's the Pontiac 400, right? Pontiac 400. Let's go look at that baby. Okay. Open up, Mark. All right. Oh, that is a great looking scoop. Thank you. Thank is that you. unique to this car? Um, well, actually, I had them on the Firebirds. Is it really the same one as the Firebird? Pretty it's much? pretty much that year. This is off a 76 Firebird oh, okay. shaker hood. The uh, 74s, the Firebirds are a little bit different, but this is a larger scoop. Boy, it's, and it's great that it comes through the hood. It I mean, comes it just, through the hood and it shakes when the motor it runs. It really menacing. Yes, it does. But you don't see one of these at any show you go to. Uh, no, I'm about the only one in town that has one. <laughs> the only kid on the block. The only kid on the block. Mark, I love this baby. 77 Pontiac Can-Am. Yep. Thank Beautiful. 6.6. 6.6. .6. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Sean, this is another one that you just don't see anymore. 74 AMC Matador, right? Correct. Matador X, as a matter of fact. Yes. Now, what... What makes it the X? The X came with the stripe. Okay. And the interior is bucket seats with the center console floor shift. Well, how'd you come by this? I was at a car show. Um, I was restoring an old Dodge. And my wife asked me, she said, you know, what's going on with the Dodge? Are you going to sell it? Are you going to do what? I said, well, if I sell it, I said, I'll sell it. I only want one car, and that's a Matador. Walked down the next aisle on the cruise. She looked. She went, what's that? I said, that's a Matador. She said, it's your lucky day. There's a for sale sign in the window. So did you buy it right there? I bought it right there. That is amazing. <laughs> bought it right there. And, I like, and like you say, the, the bucket seats were part of the X package. That is a nice looking interior. Have you redone that? No. That's nope. original? Really? The fabric That's all too? original. Fabric's original. Everything is original. What'd you pay for this thing? $2,800. Oh, you're killing me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this was a good looking car. Yes, it was. It was very stylish for its time. And then you get back to these big honking tail lights. Yep which are almost Corvette. Yeah, they do, they're, they're Corvette-ish. And again, the striping really does set this car off. Now this would have had three, what? Three, 360. 360, and it's still the original engine? Yes. Unbelievable, let's go look at that baby cat. Wow, well, you know, half your headlight ring yeah. comes up with it. That's, yes, it does. That is kind of odd. So that, that's the original 360? That's the original 360. And you haven't really, that's never been out of there, it doesn't look like. Nope. These uh, troughs off to the side are kind of weird, aren't they? Yeah, it's like a tool tray. Yeah. <laughs> Comes in handy when you're working on the car. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do people like this car a lot when they see it? I get a lot of I get a lot of comments about it. Yeah? Uh, the most common is what is what's it? a matador? <laughs> um, you know, people that people that remember the commercials from the the 70s. Well, it's really cool, man. 74 Matador, first one I've seen in a heck of a long time. Thank you. Thanks for bringing it out, Sean. Thank you, sir. Wild machine. Oh man, the Adirondack Nationals is a fantastic show, and I love upstate New York. Lake George is really gorgeous. I think I'm going out cruising on the lake. Next week, we'll meet up at Jay Leno's shop in California to check out his outrageous Shogun and 7 liter Ford Galaxy. These babies both pack a whale of a punch. I hope I get the punch of myself.